all right welcome back this should be a new video so on this video I will be uh, taking care of these chrome bits back here uh, the first thing I have to do is take the chrome pieces off really just the biggest one I think that's the only one I need to take off um, and I think it's just this one screw that's down in here so uh, the plan today is to cut this up here and then cut along here because I don't need all of that chrome piece there because the light bar is going to mount on my plate which is going to attach to the uh, bottom of the whole housing so uh, same thing here I don't need this chrome piece right here uh, the internal piece here um, so that's going to be taken out as well this is going to get painted black most likely and then if I don't paint this red like the other side um, it'll get painted some other color uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing today here for the LED bulb but um, I didn't bring the other headlight with me so I'm just gonna wing it I guess eyeball it to where I think it's gonna be and uh, yeah I guess I'll keep going that direction I did this off camera I went ahead and sanded it down the housing here or at least the portion that I'm gonna use I think I used I think it was 320 grit is what I'm using here so we'll see how this works um, that's what I had lying around so uh, that's what I'm gonna be using for this here well, that's what I did use um, so I'm gonna be primering it with this automotive primer uh, I can't remember if I used that on the previous one or not, but 
we'll see how the results go with this one here and I masked off this uh, lens here for the turn signal and I will seal this later so no moisture gets in there so uh, let's get the painting Alright, I decided to go all black with it. Um, kind of didn't want to have to deal with the masking and whatnot with the red paint. So I just did it all black. I think this side right here came out pretty good. This side, I don't know, I screwed up with the primer. Try to cover up with the paint. You just kind of see the splotchiness there and it started to crack in there too. So I'm just going to roll with this right here. I'm not going to try and paint anymore because if I put more layers on, I think it's going to crack even more. Uh, that's what happened last time. But I think this will be okay right here. Alright, so I went ahead and sanded this down. You can see right there, I cleaned it up a little bit better. And I went ahead and sanded it down to 320 grit. And I went back over it. 400 after that. So, and also mask the perimeter of the wind as well. So now I'm just going to wipe it down with a wet uh, rag here. And then I should be ready to be able to climb it. Alright, I'm going to take a tap cloth here and wipe it down one more time before I paint it. Okay, next I'm going to primer it. I'm going to be using this filler primer here. Alright, I got three coats on there. Uh, after the third coat, I let it dry and then I wet sanded it with some 800 grit sandpaper. There was a little roughness to it um, with the uh, primer. so. I went ahead and smooth it out with the 800 grit. Now I'm about to spray it down with the base coat. This is from a local paint shop. They uh, mixed up the OEM color for me. And before I spray this, I'm gonna hit it one more time with the tack cloth, and then I'll start painting. Okay, I'm not sure if I videotaped it, but uh, videotape recorded it so there was some splotchiness on it so I went back and sanded it with 800 grit get off so I went back and sanded it with 800 grit uh, it came out a little bit better I went back over with two more coats of paint but you can still kind of see a little splotchiness now, I'm not an expert painter every time I paint something goes wrong so to have it at least looking like this I guess it's an accomplishment. You now last time I painted some things, random stuff would land on it just like that bug, but it'd be much bigger and I have to sand it down again after I gotten this far. So the clear coat, it's done a pretty good job there. Laying clear seems to be easier than putting the paint down. So I guess if your prep is good, your paint should be good too, but That's how that looks. All right, made it back in. So this is how it came out. I'm not sure if the indoor light is doing it justice. The clear coat's good, but I guess my paint prep, I'm not sure why. It's so splotchy, but it is. Um, I'm just gonna roll with that. So yeah, the next video I'll be assembling all the pieces. So if you want to do that, go ahead and subscribe, like this video, if you want to make suggestions, go ahead and leave comments in the description below, and I will be back with the next video. Peace.